handles all the media and the hype. He just doesn't let it bother him. So that, that's yeah. probably the main thing because a lot of people would crumble under this kind of pressure. Does he do stuff? I, don't, I mean, again, beyond football, I mean, that, that, that just allows you, you know, that can feel the dining table or video games. Well, no, nah, he's just a fun guy to be around. I mean, people like to have him in the locker room just because the type of person he is, not necessarily the type of player he is. So I think that's what makes Clarence just that more, that more special. Connor, how's your foot feeling? Finally, it's, it's 100%. It's pretty good. It's, the past two practices, it's, it's felt good. Now, I'm in, I got a buddy on the team named Sidney Rose, and he said you're one of the toughest guys he's ever seen. So I'm in no way questioning your toughness. <laughs> but how confident are you to feel that you can put together 12 healthy games this season? Very confident. I mean, uh, if, if I want to, uh, I think uh, – that, that'd be my fault, um, but no, I, I feel confident that I can get through the season, and um, I'm not going to change the way I play. I know I've, a lot of people ask, uh, am I going to change the way I play because I've gotten hurt in the past, but I can't pay too much attention about that. I'm going to play the best I know how. Spurrier talked to you in kind of in the off season or anything about this wide receiver or just and I saw you lined up out there and yeah. it wasn't really a wildcat formation. So what's right. the deal with that? Yeah, uh, he just we're just going to find ways to um, put me and Dylan both on the field at times, and I think um, he knows and. Uh, the coaching staff knows that I'm athletic enough and smart enough to play uh, the receiver or running back or wherever that may be. So it's, uh, I'm excited about it. Connor, what do you think about the uh, receiving group that you've got this year? Yeah, I'm excited about it. We uh, we got a solid group of receivers. Uh, they've had a good spring, good summer, and uh, they'll they'll continue to have a good fall camp. So we'll see what happens during the season. You and Dylan, did y'all throw with some of them this off season? And what was that like? Oh, absolutely. We threw every day during the summer, uh, just getting the timing down. Um, getting receivers out, getting the DBs out, throwing 707. So, yeah, we uh, we worked through the summer. How do you guys feel as a team about the national ranking and the expectations that come with that and, you know, the possibilities starting out at number seven, what that could lead to? Yeah, we don't pay too much attention about the preseason hype, but, uh, of course, we have high expectations around here. I think that's what you want in a team just because uh, – it means that you have a chance to, to have some success. And we just embrace the, the fact, and uh, you know, our job is to go execute everything. Connor, Coach Spurrier seems as enthused as he's ever been uh, around this team. Have yeah. you seen that this offseason? And, and what do you attribute that to? He was a guy who wasn't sure he was going to coach in through his 60s. Yeah, uh, well, I think, uh, yeah, I, I can tell. I think the team is tell, could tell. But I think he's got every right to be uh, excited about it because we got a, a, group, a good group of guys that uh, I feel like we can we can make some noise this season. A lot of people talk about uh, losing A. Sanders. What do you see in the wide receivers? What have you seen from them this summer as far as workouts? Well, I mean, year after year, we've had guys leave and guys step up. We had Alshon leave, A stepped up. Ace is leaving. Now we're going to have some other guys step up. I don't, and I have 100% faith in our receivers uh, and Bruce and Demir, Shaq even. Uh, we got a lot of guys that come, can come out and play. And Carl, what gives you faith that this team can make it to Atlanta? Is it just the overall talent level that this team has from top to bottom? I mean, of course, we have have great talent on this team, but our team chemistry and the camaraderie of this of this program it's uh, it's just building every year. And I think that's just, that's what's going to get us through the season. In terms of Bruce, now that he's he's been a little bit more devoted to football, where have you seen him improve the most at? I think uh, now that he's got two years under his belt, his confidence level, uh, his knowledge of the game, his playbook. Um, He's, he's come a long way, and um, he, his work ethic through the summer and fall camp, it's, uh, it's far none. Can you see one guy emerging as the uh, go-to running back, or will this thing be a running back by committee most of the year? I think we'll have guys rotate through. Uh, of course, we got Mike Davis and Brandon Wilds as a one-two punch, but we got guys like Sean Carson and Scott Max that, uh, that, that can really play well, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens during the season. Connor, you are the starting quarterback for this team. I'm sure you've had people tell you and you've heard noise everywhere else talking about how maybe Dylan should be the starter because he's the better drop back thrower, stuff like that. People are going to try to make a quarterback controversy, but is there really a controversy concerning this position right now? I don't know. You'd have to ask Coach Spurrier that. I don't, I don't necessarily see it as a controversy. Uh, me, and, me and Dylan play well together, and I, we made it work last year. We can make it work again. Connor, talk about the relationship that the two of you have. I was talking to Dylan. He said that. You, you came in right from the beginning, just very focused, and he's more like the loosey-goosey type, he you is, know, yeah. uh, maybe not as serious at first because, you know, he played so many sports in right. uh, uh, high school. So just talk about that relationship and maybe how the two of you just balance each other out some way. Yeah, I think that's the main thing. I mean, um, we work well together. It's um, He's, you know, kind of a goofy guy at times. I'm a more serious, focused guy, and it, and it works for us. I mean, 
we complement each other very well, I think, and uh, Coach Bird does a good job of using us both. So the, are, there, are there times where maybe you tell him, hey, man, you need to be more focused, and he's telling you, hey, relax, chill out? Uh, I'll give an example. Just in the, in the meeting rooms or film rooms, we're trying to draw something up. Coach Bird is saying something. He'll make a comment or try to get me to laugh. Yeah, I, I can't help. i got to cover my mouth sometimes so I don't start laughing. But that's just the type of person he is, and he's fun to be around. Your, com your comfort level as a quarterback going into this year, now that you've been here for so many years, you know, just as a veteran. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely comfortable. Uh, i got three years under my belt. It's my third year coming as a starter, and um, I'm, I'm extremely comfortable. I can't wait till the season starts. Thanks, guys.